A linear array transducer with a musculoskeletal exam type is used to perform an ultrasound examination of the subscapularis tendon. The patient is in a sitting position with the patient's hand palm up and resting on the knee. The examiner is positioned in front of the patient and the transducer is placed transversely over the head of the humerus with the orientation marker directed to the patient's right. The deltoid muscle is seen as the most superficial structure. The bright hyperechoic greater and lesser tuberosities of the humerus surround the oval-shaped biceps tendon. The arm is then externally rotated to bring the bird's beak-shaped subscapularis tendon into view as it inserts into the lesser tuberosity. The fibrillar tendon lies between the superficial deltoid muscle and the intense, bright hyperechoic reflection of the humerus below. The subscapularis tendon should be evaluated by sweeping the transducer from its proximal musculotendinous insertion on the lesser tuberosity to the inferior portion. The examiner can provide gentle resistance against the subject's arm during internal rotation to highlight subtle pathology. The transducer is then rotated 90 degrees clockwise to evaluate the subscapularis tendon with a short axis view. Note the three distinct tendon bundles visible in the transverse axis. The deltoid muscle is seen as the most superficial structure. The bright hyperechoic greater and lesser tuberosities of the humerus surround the oval-shaped biceps tendon. The subscapularis lies below the deltoid muscle. The subscapularis tendon approaches the bright hyperechoic coracoid process with internal and external rotation and can be a cause of coraco-humeral impingement.